Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again, guys. Today we're talking about spam or spam.tm and to be more particular. Guys, like I said in my last video, in case you missed it, Freedom and YouTube actually in general have been cracking down on channels that do really, really bad things. All the really, really, really bad boys, they get spanked and they get kicked out. Now, those of you guys that are watching this, you're not bad guys. I know that, you know that, you wouldn't be watching this if you were. That out of the way, guys, there are some variables or there are some things that we can do better on our own channels to help us get more views, to keep us in YouTube's good books, and just, you know, get more search engine optimization and a little bit more YouTube search love. So that big mouthful out of the way, guys, we have identified 38 variables that are associated with good accounts or bad accounts, depending on how you look at it. And today we're going to talk about two. The first one, and probably the most important one, is video comments guys comments on videos is seen by youtube as an extremely good thing you probably already know that but it is one of the best if not the best variable or best identif identifier to youtube that tells them that this video is quality somebody watched this video and said hey this is pretty good and felt compelled to leave a comment that being said guys i know when you're starting out and when you're making videos not a lot of videos get comments. My personal videos on my channel, you know, on my personal channel, pardon me, I do videos about things like 3D camera tracking and how to turn uh, pictures into oil paintings, like really weird video, high-end kooky stuff, right? Like motion tracking with, with wiggler and camera shake and how to do expressions, crazy stuff. Point is, a lot of them don't get comments and that's an issue. And I think YouTube looks at that and goes, hey, this guy has no comments. This probably isn't a great video. What we're gonna do to fix that, guys, is simple. Here's what I plan, here's my suggestion. Let me know what you think. On the videos that I make here at Freedom, when I post a video, I'm also the guy that looks at the comments and I approve them. So, if you leave a comment on one of my videos, I recommend that you leave a link to one of the videos that you don't have a comment on or one of the videos that you want me or any of the other Freedom commenters and viewers to watch. Why do I say that? Because A, I'm going to approve that link. As long as it's not spam, Hell yeah, I'm gonna improve it. And B, I recommend you saying, hey guys, I just created this cool video about whatever the hell you did the video about. Come check out my channel, leave a comment. If you leave a comment, leave a comment back on their channel. It goes both ways. YouTube likes that. This isn't like some sort of sketchy tactic. YouTube wants channels to build a sense of community. And, and if you've got people that watch your videos and you watch their videos, that's good for YouTube, that's good for Google. Do it, guys. So please, on my videos, leave links. Do that. I approve them. I want to see what you've done. I will go to your channel and leave a comment. Other viewers are going to leave a comment, guys. It's going to help you send a good signal to YouTube, get your ball rolling, and build that necessary community to help your channel grow. All right, let's talk about topic number two. Topic number two isn't quite as much or big a mouthful, but what it is is it's called burst uploads. Bad, scammy, bad copycat channels tend, and I say tend, to upload all their videos in one big burst. Now I get it, you probably got a day job or you, you, got, you do a whole bunch of gaming videos and you wanna upload them, you upload them at one time. That's not an issue, guys. If you have the ability to upload them and stagger them an hour or two or three hours apart, great, good idea, it never hurts. That being said, guys, if you do do a burst upload, for example, I do recommend you use the scheduling uh, uh, option inside of the inside of YouTube. Pardon me. You guys can release a video at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. That sends a signal to YouTube saying that these guys are legit. They're not just throwing 50 videos up at one time and they all just launch when they launch or go live when they go live, guys. That kind of stuff shows scheduling. It shows foresight thought and that also looks really really good to YouTube. Those are my thoughts today guys. Please like I said in my first part leave comments on my videos. Leave links to your videos. I will approve them all as long as they're not spam. I will leave comments and please leave comments on my stuff. This is how it works. This is how we're going to help each other grow. This is Big C checking out. I'll be back soon with some more Freedom Talk.